Do you want to someday have your dream career? Do you want to have a better understanding of yourself? Or maybe you don't even really like reading all that much at all and you want to just read something that's really truly impactful. Don't worry cuz I got you. I got you. I've read a lot of books. Look at my book collection. JK, most of my books are in my Kindle so I don't really have any physical books. Today I want to give you six recommendations that is truly worth a read that is not the typical cliche how to win friends and influence people that sort of thing or the seven habits of highly effective people I just see these books listed everywhere and I want to give some alternate recommendations so this first book I actually recently read it is called maybe you should talk to someone and I could not put it down I have literally been recommending it to all of my friends and they love it. It's such a good book. The book is about a therapist who herself suffered an emotional breakdown but at the same time we get to look at the different clients that she has and each client basically represents a different issue. I learned so much about mental health issues and I also became more aware of my own issues and I also just learned a lot of basic mental health psychology principles. The book does it through brilliant storytelling, she is so insanely funny and she's such a great storyteller and writer in general. The reason this book is a must read in your 20s because every single one of us should be more aware of our own mental health. Your mental health is literally one of the most important things about you. Your mental health will actually affect your gut health which is something that not a lot of people know. Right now my gut health is not very good, so maybe my mental health is not very good. But essentially, you want to overcome your insecurities, you don't want to project your insecurities onto people. You could also be traumatized from events that you didn't even realize, and you don't want to let your mental health affect your relationships. Next is Shoe Dog. Shoe Dog is a memoir written by Phil Knight, who is the founder of Nike. Nike is such a successful and influential brand around the world, and we have so much to learn from the original founding story of Nike. Phil Knight started the brand after his master's degree, and his persistence is so insanely inspiring. Did you know that Nike wasn't called Nike before? It actually used to be called Blue Ribbon. Can you believe it? If you have a dream career, I would highly recommend reading this book and just learning more about persistence and dedication. And it's just truly such an inspiring story. It goes to show you that success is not an overnight thing. Get it? Night, night. Next recommendation is Rich Dad Poor Dad. I'm sure you've heard about this book if you follow finance channels, but this book is also a recent read for me and it's really changed the way I see money and change how I will spend my money. The book is written by Robert Kiyosaki and it basically talks about his two dads. One is a rich dad and one is a poor dad. His poor dad is his biological dad and his rich dad is his best friend's dad. And why is this important? Well, money basically affects everything in this world. And so learning a little bit more about how you should value money or how you should spend your money is really gonna help you with your spending habits and help you with saving up or investing in the future. And I really wish I had read this book a little bit earlier on so that I would change my spending habits a little bit earlier on. Rich Dad Poor Dad really changed a lot of people's lives, it changed mine, and I'm sure it will change yours as well. Next book is called Outliers. This one is also a very famous book that I'm sure you've heard of. Outliers is written by Malcolm Gladwell, who is a really, really great white writer and reporter. And honestly, you would also enjoy his other books and I would really recommend them as well. Outliers is the story of success. Essentially, Malcolm Gladwell shows us that in order to achieve success in anything, you need to practice 10,000 hours. And so when I thought back to my own personal story, I could see how 
my 10,000 hours in photography or the visual arts really applied. As a kid, I was lucky enough that my parents would let me join different art classes, like drawing classes growing up. And so my passion for art has really been embedded inside me since a little kid. And so right now, I'm sure I've exceeded the 10,000 hours by a lot. Next book is called Bad Blood. This book is so fascinating to read that I literally could not put it down. Bad Blood, Secrets and Lies in a Silicon Valley is about the startup Theranos and how they scammed the entire world to have it valued at $10 billion at one point. And in fact, Theranos actually had no breakthrough in scientific technology whatsoever. They don't even have a product. Their product was not working. And the CEO was just lying, lying, and lying. It's also actually all around the news these days because Elizabeth Holmes, the founder of Theranos, is currently gonna be going on trial. She apparently faked her voice and is a Steve Jobs wannabe. And so reading this book will let you know that, wow, people in this world really are liars and they like to scam you. And the final one on the list is called The Ride of a Lifetime. This book is written by the ex-Disney CEO, Bob Iger. And it basically talks about his journey from being a middle-class kid living in the suburbs to becoming the CEO of one of the largest companies in the world. And he never had the luxury of his family backing him up. He truly worked up the corporate ladder and he truly worked up there because of his hard work and his resilience and persistence. Not like some other people, like <clears throat> Kylie Jenner. Reports also show that he is genuinely a very nice and down to earth CEO, which is very, very hard to find these days, especially he being around the LA area, I can verify that there's a lot of celebrities or bosses who are not the nicest. I really enjoyed reading more about his humble experience and the lessons that he learned. The reason this is a must read is because I think we all have something to learn from one of the biggest companies in the world and the person who led this company. Especially when the world is becoming more and more dominated by media. All right, I hope you found this useful. What book do you think you're gonna read? And what book do you think I should read? I would love to hear this from you down in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do and hit the bell notifications. If you wanna see more content, please check out my Instagram and I will see you on the next one. Bye.